I'm Bill Conley, and I'm a fine art artist. I find that there's um, about three or four stages to the way I paint. Uh, the first stage is, is consists of going out and, and uh, getting to do things with nature and uh, getting close to nature and sketching it. I do a very quick sketch uh, just to get the movement of the spot that I'm in to get the places where uh, I want to emphasize things. When you go out sketching, you're not trying to capture the uh, scene in front of you. That, that, that would be a waste of time as far as I'm concerned. I'm not talking about other people, but myself. Uh, I go out there to get uh, ideas of shapes, colors, things like that, so that I can bring them back, bring them back and use them uh, on my, uh, my painting to make an, a, a, a different kind of a picture. Because I don't have the ability to, to spend a lot of time out with my equipment and things like that, I do it back in the, uh, in the studio. So I start and I, I sketch very quickly with anything that's at hand. It could be a stick, it could be a paintbrush, it could be anything. But I uh, I really enjoy this phase of the, the painting process. It allows me to uh, not worry about anything. I, I just let myself go with the memory of what I've seen and, and uh, a lot of my imagination. I'm interested in, in various shapes and getting spontaneous shapes that occur rather than shapes that have been contrived. The next part is, is, is looking at what is there and, and seeing what I can bring out of it. I start to put down some color, uh, any color that comes to mind, and, uh, but if you ask me the names of the colors, I couldn't tell you. I, I just deal with the, uh, the grayscale of the color. In other words, the tones of color rather than the actual uh, name of them or the, the fact that they're red. Mm -hmm. I am asked a lot about my, my houses that I leave on, the, uh, that I put into the paintings. And uh, really it, it's, uh, it's something that's come into um, my painting from a, a trip I made out to uh, British Columbia. The houses were made by the people themselves ramshackle and um, really quite interesting. The, the houses seem to have a personality of their own because they were made uh, haphazardly, I suppose. And uh, I, uh, I brought that into my paintings because I uh, th saw them as, as, as sort of human qualities. Anthropomorphic, I'm told, is what it means. But uh, I, uh, I bring in uh, human feelings into the houses themselves and some of them are happy, some of them are kind of feeling jealous of other, pe other houses that are there and, and uh, uh, I think in the, in the end it, it uh, makes for a sort of a happy little scene and uh, um, allows me to, to get the colors I want whenever I feel like doing it, like the people who made those original houses and uh, I, I paint them the way I want to. I hadn't given much thought to uh, really uh, the type of things I would study in university, but uh, about second year, uh, it, 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 I was given the chance to take a course in sculpture. And I found it very difficult. It was very hard working with the clay. It's heavy, it's hard work. And um, I, I just was uh, not able to, to keep up with it, but I, uh, uh, had a little bit of a, a change of heart and uh, kept up with the uh, studies that I was doing and found that I really fitted into the sculptural mode in art. May, I ended up majoring in sculpture 
and um, I uh, really enjoyed it. It was uh, something that uh, brought out my ability to and, and my interest in building things. I see nature as a, a living being. I see that it's able to evoke a humorous side. My colors are spontaneous and my shapes spring out mostly without thinking. And they can make me laugh. Thank you.